if you are new to the channel please make sure you like share and subscribe we are a new channel and we do need people um we up and coming we the underdog man like share and subscribe let's get it what's up gang today we're going to be talking about ebk jbo and his come up one of the hottest artists out of stockton california with that being said let's get straight into it ebk jbo real name jaymani gorman was born august 20th 2003 in stockton california him as well as most of his family are from the southeastern section of stockton where crime is rampant and killings are a daily occurrence jaybo said that back in the day nightingale wasn't that bad you know everybody was just focused on getting money man but uh you know as far as the politics and stuff in stockton you know um it was it was only a matter of time before they got into a serious deadly street war jaybo would start gangbanging it's not easy growing up in stockton and he caught his first attempted murder charge at just 15 years old where he would do a bunch of time in juvenile hall where he got in a bunch of fights and you know it just it seemed like things were looking down. Ever since he could remember, he wanted to rap just like his dad, James Rory Gorman, a famous Stockton artist um, who unfortunately was gunned down in January of 2015. And uh, that had a huge impact on j -Bo. I think losing his dad really changed him. He started taking music serious, you know. Um, He's, he, you know, he started having videos on Thizzler doing millions and millions of views, but, you know, he couldn't stay out the street life. I mean, you know, he's, it's EBK, man, you know what I mean? Um, he was taking it serious. Even though j -Bo wasn't trying to make it in the industry, he was getting a lot of buzz on his name on the West Coast. I mean, you know, Stockton doesn't have a big scene, and, you know, him and his homies was really blowing up, but... I mean, um, at the same time, there was a bloody street war going on in the streets of Stockton, California, and him and his crew was knee-deep in it. There was a guy named Ronald Selstein that was shot and killed in a drive-by, and, you know, reports say that there was two EBK affiliates, and uh, they say they went by the candlelight and shot that up, too. And uh, unfortunately, the one guy died, and then his cousin, Benny Lott, here also died at the visual. It's just, you know, it was a crazy war in the streets of Stockton. Everybody's speculating that, you know, j -Bo had something to do with it, and uh, actually two EBK affiliates went down for the crime. This is crazy. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comments. The Stockton Police Department had a target on their back and they ended up booking nine EBK members on various charges from murder to gun charges to drug charges, all kind of stuff. They just racked it up on them. Everything kind of calmed down after that, but there will be more violence to come and um, EBK's names right in the middle of it. Tragically, one of his good friends, Young Sloby, another EBK member, will be tragically gunned down in the street. People would say this had to do with their beef with uh, Ma the Mozzie camp in Sacramento, California. But then other people would say that it was a backdoor situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think happened in the comments. EBK's biggest ops are a set called Trap Mob or Flyboys. And uh, many are speculating that they could have had something to do with it as well. I mean, clearly j -Bo Ben had a little buzz, but his fame was going to a new level. It seems like right after all this happened, Stockton, California rapper Jay Black, who's with the Flyboys, was gunned down in the streets of Stockton, California. Everybody's speculating that, you know, j -Bo had something to do with it, and uh, actually two EBK affiliates went down for the crime. This is crazy. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comments. While all this is going on, EBK j -Bo's career is really starting to take off, but he can't seem to stop going to jail. A lot of people was clowning his friend, EBK Young Jock, for getting his chain snatched, but, you know, j -Bo was like, you know, it happens, man. You know, hey, it is what it is. Basically, he had his back. Crazy because they was feuding, you know, amongst each other, um... They were saying that, you know, EBK Young Jack brother Harry B snitched, but I, I mean, I guess they got over that whole situation. In April 2023, J-Bo would go to jail again on weapon charges. He had to spend, you know, six months in jail, but he got the bread now, so, you know, he bailed out or whatever, and um, he had to go back in January, do a couple months, but other than that, man, he, he fresh out. He doing his thing, his music doing numbers, and I mean, hopefully he stays out this time, man. Uh, with that being said, this is another episode of Hood Stories. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. 
if you are new to the channel please make sure you like share and subscribe we are a new channel and we do need people um we up and coming we the underdog man like share and subscribe let's get it